have you ever wondered why there are so many age gaps in twin flame relationships? My twin flame is 10 years younger than me, so I find myself asking this question a lot and thinking about this a lot as it's a topic that's caused me a lot of pain and frustration and maybe it has for you too so i want to know in the comments if you also identify as being in a twin flame age gap relationship and if so are you the older or younger one in the relationship because this is going to be really important in a second first off know that if this is you this is incredibly common for twin flames so i've been on this journey for quite a few years now and i've worked with tons of clients clients who are on the twin flame journey and I've made tons of friends who are also on the twin flame journey and I would say probably around 50% of the time twin flames have an age gap of around 10 years or more. It is so so common. So many twin flame teachers that I follow, clients, friends, and of course myself have this in common. Why? So one, and maybe you've heard this before because it's talked about quite frequently, it's important for twin flames to have differences, like big differences for each other. So in this case, age gap differences, it's very common. It's also common for twin flames to be of different races, to be of the same gender, to come from different countries, to live in different places in the world, different states, different countries, just have like big physical differences between them, to be of different social standing, like rich or poor. All these things are incredibly common for twin flames because ultimately the goal of twin flames is to show, to show ourselves and everyone else that nothing really matters other than true unconditional love. Um, we are meant to transcend these things that society says are important, that they matter, and that mean that you can't be with someone, and we're showing society that it actually doesn't matter. But there's much more to it than this. So I was talking to my Twin Flames higher self one day, and I was getting pretty angry actually because I was feeling abandoned that for the first 10 years of my life, my twin flame wasn't even on this planet <laughs> and i got pissed about that and felt triggered about that as silly as that may sound um because for me the first 10 years of my life were arguably the most difficult challenging 10 years of my life it was a very dark challenging period for me and i felt very very alone and isolated and depressed for a lot of that time and the fact that my twin flame wasn't even here was just so triggering to me, like in retrospect, to reflect on it. So I was talking to my twin flame's higher self about that. And what he said is that this happens because he was actually protecting me from the higher realms, from the spiritual realms. It was divinely orchestrated. Our souls decided that I would incarnate first and that he would stay behind for like the first 10 years of my life so that he could protect me and actually be taking care of me energetically while I was here as the ground team, if you will, in the physical, like really roughing it and working through things before he came in body and incarnated because then he would also be needing to focus his energy there and couldn't protect me energetically so much. So know that if you are in fact the older twin in an age gap relationship, this was cho chosen and agreed upon by you and your twin flame before incarnation, because likely you might be a bit more experienced with the physical world than your twin flame counterpart. You're probably more used to incarnating and being embodied. And so you agreed to go first and sort of be like this front runner, this harbinger that's kind of like taking the brunt of the physical incarnation before your twin comes in. But it's not like they are weaker or you know they're they're abandoning you it was actually decided upon that they would stay behind and give you that spiritual support while you were in body incarnating then once things lightened up maybe for you a bit that is when your twin incarnates so that they can start focusing on their own physical incarnation as well and not give all of their attention all of their energy to you so in my situation things at least for a little bit did seem to like lighten up ironically around the time my twin flame was born i didn't even know this at the time but 
things in my life when I reflect back were kind of a bit lighter at that time. So it's clear that my twin flame was actually there for me in spirit when I was going through the brunt of this really hard stuff. And then when there was like a little break, a window in there, that is when he chose to incarnate and is like, okay, you've got this. It's kind of like the, like a bicycle, learning how to ride a bicycle. It's like he was the training wheels and then I got to a point where I no longer needed the training wheel so he was able to incarnate. So in any case, this is a download I've gotten on why twin flames have these age gaps. Cause sometimes like we're transmuting so much karma that the other one needs to stay behind for a little bit and provide spiritual support while the other one is embodied and processing this karma. So if you are the older twin in the relationship, know that you were never abandoned, you were not alone. In fact, it was quite the opposite. And likely if you are the older one in the relationship, you have more incarnations in body and probably more incarnations on earth. You have more experience with this. And if you're the younger twin in the connection, likely you have more experience just staying in spirit and being kind of like a spirit guide or incarnating on places where it's lighter, not like earth, like other planets and stuff like that. So fun fact about twin flames that I just kind of learned. Let me know if you learned anything too. Before you go, if you identify as being on the twin flame journey and you're really struggling, I have amazing news for you. So I'm actually offering two free weeks of workshops entirely for free, my friends, entirely for free. It's called the Quantum Abundance Accelerator, and it's gonna help you start to generate abundance in all areas of life. And know that this doesn't just mean in money, of course that can be an effect of it, but specifically it can help you with your twin flame relationship because it's very much uh, a quality of coming into union with your twin flame to return to a place of abundance in all areas of life. So if you're struggling on that, you want to meet other people who are similar, please sign up for this free workshop series. We kick off on February 19th. And if you're watching this after February 19th, sign up anyways, because then you'll be on the list for the next round. Um, but you can find information. I'll include a, a link in the description below. And also you can find it on my link trees, the top link um, via my profile on TikTok. I hope to see you there, but either way, know that I'm sending you so much love on your journey, my friend. Know that you are powerful and that you've got this.